All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Phantom Liberty. I'm fucking loving this. I really am. All right, so I still have to wait a few hours, so let's just uh, take a little nap. Or sleep 20 straight hours. <sighs> Heavy hearts, the building is a, a large imitation pyramid. Can't miss it. Right. What the hell was that? Okay. What do we got? Okay. Our own little safe house apartment. Travel point is down lower, isn't it? Wait, where? Nope, that's the other thing. Side job. Cop system, so I don't actually want to run anybody over. Oh shit! Wake the fuck up, patrol. Civilians are acting up again. Transmitting cords. This is a nice place, so play nice, hear me? Got sure, our man. eyes everywhere. Sure. Yeah, fuck off. Ooh, wow. Two five. 
what is it your mother can't help you with? No, not, not to worry. Your father must get back to work now. Okay? Okay. Ah, if it isn't V. Mr. Hans. V, my favorite merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hanson. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Come on, Hans. Flattery? Really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect, to see the man behind the hollow curtain. The elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to eliminate Dodger. Calm, collected, and professional. Bravo. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'll be done. Okay. So what do you got for me? Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Sure, hope this will be worth my while. Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hanson sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Sounds like you're out to get your hands dirty in local politics. Pun intended. Yes, well, Dogtown is a political arena like any other. It has its relations, arrangements, power struggles. A careless businessman might easily drown in the mud. Me, I prefer to stay dry. Oh, I'm not and arrest you in some tea. It's my own blend. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? I heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? to occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. Right, definitely. Politics couldn't care less. Actually, I care very much, and I love this. Uh, great, what about our deal? So well and good chit-chatting, but what about our deal? Did my part, time you did yours. Ah, indeed, yes. The Black Sapphire. 
Hansen stronghold guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard. Black Sapphire Info and Blueprints. All nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. I was counting on something juice here. Well, that, I mean, this all information works, and I think it's probably enough. Oh no, what happened? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking now? Really? Thanks, Hans. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, Someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Looking forward to those new gigs. Cream to meet you in person. Nice meeting you. Finally pinning a face on the name. You should count yourself lucky. Few have done so and lived to tell the tale. All right. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? Got it. You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. I'll make no. sure to plant my feet firmly then. Later, hands. Hey. I love this place so fucking much. Just the gorgeous color scheme, the Egyptian motifs. Let's go. The data shard from hands. Our golden ticket into the black sapphire. Perfect. Sancho. No worries. This connection is secure. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. As soon as you're ready, join us at the moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Till then. Alright, let's go. Parties in one night. I get. I'm glad I bought.
bought this weaponized vehicle because I don't know what's going to happen and I want to rain down hellfire upon anybody who chases me. <laughs> Let's go see if those two haven't killed each other yet. That's a new tune. Ain't nothing without your help! Check out Ronald's Prime Stands! Um, well, there at least. Here's to you, Canalito. To it. This the relic? Gets worse every day. Time I have left evaporating quick. You experience them often? These attacks? Don't really keep count, but never know if the next one won't be my last. No shit. Death's breathing down my neck. Always. I know what that feels like. Being a dead man walking? Exactly. I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me. But sometimes, it feels like they actually succeeded. Tell me more. Ambush. Attempt on my life seven years back. Yeah, he said. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU. While I waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off. I was betrayed. By our people, the FIA. I say betrayed, but I was sold out. Part of a deal, a peace offering. My head on a silver platter, all for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay it. Come on, I'm gonna show you something. Set you up, yet here you are working for him again. Even deep wounds stop hurting eventually. Scar over. A few years on, they're just a niche. Let's go. I don't know if I agree with that. Some shit you just don't come back from. Let's write down. Where are we headed? On a little trip down memory lane. To see some old junk. I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. She's always had a twisted sense of humor. Where's she at? Waiting downstairs? 
She's finishing up recon in town. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. Been dark for seven years, this place. Let's brighten things up again. The end of any war is never pretty. Both sides race to tie up loose ends. A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned. A third got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. A couple others just vanished without a trace. Every night we waited for Arasaka agents to come finish us off. I had to make a choice. I chose to dig our heels in. I thought we still had a fighting chance. It was bold. It was stupid. A mix of both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away. Let it rest. Or maybe I don't know how to lose. Either way, we managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. Say what you want, but sounds like they stabbed you in the back, plain and simple. Saving many of my people in the process. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. Funny, out of everyone. It was Songbird they asked to pull the trigger. Wait. Yeah. Probably had no choice. Did, didn't. It's irrelevant now. What happened, happened. I was leaving the city, heading home. Songbird was still here. In this very room, in fact. He was guiding me on comms. Led me straight into a trap. Neutralizing me. The last assignment in Night City. Then she got a ticket home. Reed, what you're doing now is saving her, or is it revenge? I don't have a ventral bone left in me. I had plenty of time to examine this under a microscope. Under focus, some things sharpen, others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. Sounds like they broke you, buddy. Songbird is still my people, and nothing could change that. Fuck, Reed. Now, my ears is a whole nother story. But Songbird, no. I got nothing against her. So why Myers? I miss anything? Some reminiscing. So good. Let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Looking how to write, it turns out. I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. Each and every one, the Blackwall. All authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person, Rosalind Myers. Wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out of reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Oh, little of this, little of that. We'll plan in a sec. Say, V. Like playing fancy dress up? What's the matter? Gotta do what needs doing. Preferences be damned. All right, little Miss Sourpuss. Managed to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. That includes you. 
Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. Be oh, warned, though. Fancy doesn't mean easy. Ready for the deets, V? Uh, gonna tell me anyway. Let's have her. Let me hear him. Black Sapphire, the most heavily guarded place in Dogtown. Doesn't mean security's airtight, though. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded tunnel system. Got a top-of-the-line diving suit, ought to fit you snug as a glove. Water's maybe a little super toxic. So yeah, be careful. Toxic how, exactly? Hmm, from suspect waste, some sewage leak too. Don't worry, suit's pissing shit-proof. Already know what the hotel looks like. Really, really hard to miss. Flooded tunnels here. That's your way inside. Now focus. You'll reach a terminal at the end, jack in and breach the cams, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. You'll take different elevators up, here. Saul will open a passage to his side. For you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. You're gonna meet here. Soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All clear? Yup. Prem. Okay, let's talk gear. Take your time. Grab anything you think might be useful. A surprise awaits you in the box. I don't need... I don't need a precision rifle. I definitely need more ammo. Guillotine. Lexington. What is Militech? Can I have What's in here? Is your iron? Sure is. Her Majesty's been itching to return to active duty. I'd be honored. That reminds me. Hands. What did he want in return for the favor he did us? Hands has the mind of a corpo. War's like a biz to him. Runs it that way. He pits everyone against each other. By the time they realize they're all fighting on his behalf, it'll be too late. Politics. It's the same shit wherever you go. You know, if not for you, we'd have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Somburg. It's good to have you on our side. I mean that, V. That it? We set? I believe we are. I'll hang back a while and then meet you there. Place right. See, my carry weight keeps fluctuating. It's weird. <laughs> Her Majesty, I like that. Good memories, huh? A little dusty. The world is there. What are we gonna do with it once I'm on the Riviera? You gonna lock yourself in here, bundle all-
Prices in Yeah, that definitely sounds like him. item okay sounds familiar I think I saw a poster oh is she the uh Reed, you copy? Made it to the hallway. Copy you loud and clear. I'm in position too. That door opened way too slow. Okay. Uh, what is an outfit? Yep, that would be a uh, very bad 
panic attack. Out the patrol rules, got him down. Set myself a safe path through and past him. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Take a look. Are you still there? Sure am. I'm at the warehouse gate. You'll need to secure the area, crack it open from the other side. Where 
Where are you, Reed? I do think we're clear. my locker. If you don't leave. But these need deliverance, you huh? Not through here they don't. VIPs only. Uh, we did, we. did you spot so anything interesting? Do I look like the fucking liquor box is a sort you? Can you collect the attacks? Of course. <laughs> yes. Oh, there you are. We've got some important guests in our town. What's the sitch? See a gate. Two guards. There you go. Roger that. Scared of him? Handsome. 
The man's repeatedly told both the NUSA and NICE to go fuck themselves. He should have been put down long ago. Instead, he rules this entire district. Now, so you are scared. No. This is Hanson's surf. He has the upper hand. It's just a fact that needs accepted. Does it mean I'm shaking at the knees? Hell no. That's a nice pistol. All right, find a vantage point to have eyes on me. Neutralize any and all threats. Call it quiet. Drop the sniper. Nestin in his perch now. At the perfect vantage point, saw everything. Cover me. You're in prime duck hunting position. New user detected. Calibration in progress. Firing mode inactive. Got you. What now? We do this nice and quiet if we can. Got it? Spot any guards in my way and give me a heads up. Okay. Don't worry, boss. Rifle sports a silencer if it comes to that. Better look around. Got a mine just past the corner. Oh, spotted. I could have missed it. I've got eyes on a sniper. Further down. He's not a threat yet. We'll deal with him later. Security. Scan two. Two or three potential threats. Healthy smattering of guards along their path. Copy that. We'll take them out one by one. Best if they never knew we were here. See the main elevator shaft? Too risky. There'll be sentries up top. Keep an eye on it, though. See a bunch of containers. Could use them to get to your side. Yeah, see them too. Let me build that bridge. There's a service elevator nearby. We'll take that up. Gotta get there first, though. Cover me. Calibration complete. Firing mode active. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return in a moment, we will get ready to cross and join the party. But until then, I thank you very much. If you want to, please like, comment, subscribe, to show me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all in a moment. Thank you.